This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust out your eyes. Philip Bailey's here. Woo! You about to give it live? Oh! Woo! That is Philip Bailey, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Yo. What's up? <laughs> you, you have to understand, um, Mr. Bailey, if you will. Um, I often speak on this show about the importance of uh, what my mother did in my childhood that helped shape and mold who, who we become today, you mm -hmm. know. And one of the things she used to do, I'm a child of the 70s, so I was able to catch that vibe, right? One of the things she used to do is when she would put us to sleep, mm. this is the song she would play, Fantasy. Wow. Right? Or Reasons. Mm. Uh, when we would run track as kids, she would play Shining Star. Wow. You know, and that's where I got my music sensibility from was a lot of layers of the music. Oh, let, can we let this rock? Just a second. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Philip Bailey. You don't mind if I do this, what you do? <laughs> <laughs> And there it is right there. I just want to say thank you um, for that soundtrack uh, uh, for my life personally. And congratulations on your career and the success and, and just the joy of music uh, that you participated in has been able to bring to a lot of people's lives. And now you're here celebrating this book that you wrote, right? Right. You know, it's interesting that, that the music actually was the soundtrack of your life. Yeah. It was like your nursery rhymes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Did, did she play... And you're like sucking your finger. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah man. I mean, it's just um, I often like because, you know, I'm, I came up in hip hop. So and you know, a lot of the music and I ain't gonna lie. A lot of the music we play here has so many negative undertones to it that, and you know, you hear that stuff all day. Eventually it might make you become negative. And so I like to try to create a balance, you yes. know, and, and I feel like you guys' music was kind of, it was it was some intangible when it all came together um, that, that created this energy that was always positive. Yeah. And I was curious to, uh, Maurice was the, who was the founder of Earth, Wind & Fire? Ma Maurice White, Maurice White. And his okay. concept was to render a service to humanity. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, all the, there were so many negative connotations to musician because he came from the jazz era. Yeah. And so many people had OD and this, that, and other, you know. And so he, like, really wanted to, he, he really saw being a musician as a very high calling. And so, you know, with Earth, Wind & Fire concept, he wanted to, Fuse different elements of music together, and he wanted it philosophically to be positive. You know, to speak to you know um, the upliftment of men uh -huh. and and their hearts. You know, and and make you feel good. And so you know that's that was the concept, and then you know we added the the all the production and all the stuff. You know, back in the seventies. You know that that was before its time, and uh -huh. you know in terms of trying to give the audience more than you know more than they paid for and. And so 40 something years later, you know, mm -hmm. we're still touring the globe, mm -hmm. selling out houses and doing our thing. Yeah. And the book really talks about, you know, a lot of the stories behind a lot of the great songs, as you say, that it become that are the soundtrack of many people's lives. Um, were, uh, you guys did something really interesting too. The, your horn sections, like what you guys did with horns. Um, was unique in itself. And then you heard a lot of um, bands at that time that kind of emulated the sound. Uh, <clears throat> who was doing the horn arrangements a lot well, of time? Um, Tom Tom 84 did it, and then, and then um, Charles Stepney was actually the first. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it comes, it, you know, like we were, you know, I'm a big jazz lover. <laughs> so if you listen to uh, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers yeah. and all that kind of stuff, you know, it really is, it really is bebop, but it's actually served up in a different way. You know, like we have, um, you know, we have really jazz chord progressions mm -hmm. and we have bebop horn licks and stuff like 
uh, on different songs, but they're done commercially so everybody can receive them. Yeah. Mm. And when Maurice was playing with Ramsey, you know, he he had that vision because he's saying like, man, this is music that everybody should be able to appreciate. But because it's so deep, you know, everybody can't get it. Mm-hmm. So he's like, because and he was a, a he was a, a commercial writer as well. So he knew about hooks. So he says, okay, you know, doing that, doing that, putting it to with with um, uh, you know, like a shuffle beat and the whole thing and the and the and the doo wop sing. Got to get you into my life. Get you into my life. So you got gospel, you got doo wop, you got jazz, you got blues, all in one song. You know, you know, you guys. Interesting enough, your your song, uh, your your music <clears throat> transcended genre barriers. <clears throat> you guys didn't really have an issue when the disco era kind of was ushered in, right? It didn't feel like it. it felt like your music. You know what we did? We we did it our way. We we did uh, Boogie Wonderland, mm-hmm. but in opposed to it being like Georgie Moroder who did um, Donna Summers, and it was just one, you know, one groove. We had. Countless t- changes and arrangements and the whole thing, mm-hmm. you know, but it was still served up as disco. Let's take a listen to that right now. Philip Bailey's here. Philip Bailey, I'm going to be singing along with you, and I can't <laughs> sing, man, but I just want to be able to tell my mother I sang with you. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. We're going to go to line two. We got Keith from Detroit is here. The book is Shining Star, Braving the Elements of Earth, Wind, and Fire by Philip Bailey with Keith and Kent Zimmerman. Um, the book is available now, correct? Yes, it is at all your local retailers and, and on um, digital for download. Okay, great. Uh, we got Keith on the line. Keith, good morning. How you doing? Hey, good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Doing okay, man. Feeling good. Say hello to Philip Bailey. Hey, Philip, man. Hey, hey. Nice to talk to you, man. Love your music, man. Thanks for bringing me so many good memories, brother. Thank you very much. Mm. Hey, I just got a question, man. How how did they get all those horns with Don Myrick and all those different guys, man, together? And y'all, they just played they, they just, they just, they, uh, Everything just fell together so smooth, just so smooth. Well, Don was a friend of, of Maurice's, and so was uh, Satterfield. So the Phoenix Horns came out of Chicago. Um, they, they used to work in the studio together. And, uh, yeah, it was an awesome, awesome uh, horn section, uh, as is Earth, Wind & Fire's horn section today. Now, Don... Like mysteriously was killed by cops, right? Right, police right. officers, right? Right, mm-hmm. and you still don't know what happened. What was that about? In, you know, in his home, you know, like you know how uh, some of those stories are just a mystery. Came in his house and you know said he had it had something. Yeah, shot him. That's like, huh? Yeah, you he know. took his life right. in his house. Yeah. Mm. That's unfortunate, man. We got um, BK on the line from the DMV area. What's up, BK? How you doing? It's a pleasure to be getting on the air, speaking with Sway and uh, and the homies from Earth, Wind, and Fire. But I had to uh, to give a special thanks. Uh, I caught a live show a bunch of years back, and I got to say, the most lasting impression I had from that is the homie on base has got the biggest smile in the world. Yeah, I mean, Verdeen. Yeah, he oh, still amazing. loves what he does, man. He still got a lot of energy. Yeah, he's got to be icing down those muscles, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they look great, man. I always see you guys around Grammy time. Y'all always go to the uh, Clive Davis Grammy party. I, I'm working when I'm doing it for MTV, but doing the red carpet. And it's always great to see you guys out there. Your beginnings, like your voice, you know, is it falsetto? Is that- well, I have a, a five octave ring. I, actually, I'm a baritone. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, oh, from, wow. uh, from baritone to, uh, to mezzo soprano. Uh-huh. And uh, and okay, d- oh, thank you uh, for clarifying. For, for soprano, that's what it is. And um, uh, did it start when you were like? When did you discover your voice? You you were part of a organization called Echoes of Youth, correct? Wow, yeah, yeah. How, y'all, you know that. Yeah. There, there was an organization in Denver, big ups to Denver, Colorado, and Miss um, Joanne Ryan had a, an organization called the Echoes of Youth, where a lot of uh, the youth. She just gathered all the youth together, and we had a choir, and then we had different bands that came out of there, and. Actually, um, um, 
I'm, I'm thinking of Pam Greer. Pam Greer was actually well, in, the, Greer? in the choir Foxy and Brown? stuff. Coffee? Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, we, went, we, went to, we went to high school together. Was she fine then? Yeah, she was fine as heck. Yeah, <laughs> she really was. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Pam Greer went, went there as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, you eventually, the group eventually started... Um, have you went solo for a while right well i, I went to i went solo in, in the middle of uh earth wind fires mm -hmm. uh around in the 80s you know i started doing solo records i, I, I did, i've done 10 At the, the biggest one to date is uh chinese wall that phil collins produced mm -hmm. and i was also do i did uh, four gospel al albums I, did, I won a grammy for one of those uh-huh he started on us right to fill it mm -hmm. as you should have <laughs> yes as, as you should have um and earth wind and fire is still active today in your book, you even talk about your relationships with your ex-wife, and you're currently married to it, right? Are you currently? No, no, no. I'm not married to my, to my. Oh, to, to I'm not currently married to my first wife. No. No. Okay. Right. All right. But you you talk about. I talk that. about. Yeah, I talk about you know the relationships because you know like on top of all this music and touring and all this kind of stuff, there's life too. Yeah. That you got to deal with. Uh huh. And so, you know, I delve into the life issues, you know, and exactly, and because a lot of those songs are written from a standpoint of, li you know, living life mm -hmm. and watching others live life, you know, and the songs actually have come back to, uh, to kind of comfort me um, at times when I really needed them. Like a, the song, uh, Shine, uh, uh, Sing a Song. Sing you a know. Song. Yeah, wow. I was going through some serious stuff. And, you know, the show must go on. Uh -huh. You got to do your gig and stuff. And I was like, I was singing, sing a song. Uh -huh. And it was just like, it was like I didn't write it. It just mm -hmm. spoke right to my spirit. Let's take a listen a little bit of this. All right. Philip Bailey has joined us. Earth, Wind, and from Earth, Wind, and Fire. He has a new book, book Shining Star, Braving Elements of Earth, Wind, and Fire. You can pick it up online. You yep. can pick it up in stores. We got Courtney on the line from Philly. Good morning, Courtney. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Doing okay. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, I'm a music educator, and um, I actually have a whole Earth, Wind, Fire unit that I teach in the beginning of September. I start with September, and my, my, I keep, teach K-12. My students always look forward to it. Um, whenever we do freeze dance or they do something good, we have an Earth, Wind, and Fire freeze dance time. Um, but I have some boys that really try to emulate you. Oh, um, they, they're, I mean, they're, you know, second grade boys and they, they're in my chorus and they're like, how can I sing like him? How can I have his falsetto? How can I do this? Mm -hmm. So what, what advice can I give them? I mean, I try to give them my advice, but you know, I'm not a dude. I'm not you. <laughs> uh, you know what? I just, I started mimicking cause I didn't even know there was a falsetto. I just, I was just singing from a kid and I just grew up singing, mimicking Sarah Vaughn and Morgana King yeah. and Nancy Wilson and. There were people like that just because I love the music. And uh, so that's how my falsetto developed, just doing that, you know, just singing them. Gotcha. And uh, actually, you know, I'm a, I'm a baritone, so. Okay, five octave range there, uh, Courtney. Yeah, down here. Yeah. There it is. All right. We got uh, Reese on the line from um, Nebraska. What up, Reese? How you doing? What's up, Sway? How you feeling, man? Pretty pretty good. How you doing, Philip Bailey? Doing wonderful, Good. Man, it's an honor to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on uh, your music, or it's one of Fire's music. I'm a big fan of the 70s music, and I'm also a hip-hop fan. But my question is, how do you feel when hip-hop artists sample you guys' music? Well, it's been the movies and the samples and all that kind of stuff that have um, really previewed our music to, uh, you know, younger audiences, kids as young as my grandkids, you mm. know, are... Uh, get introduced to Earth, Wind, and Fire through you know movies and 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 samples and all that kind of stuff. So it's you know it's an honor. Um, one of the other things you talked about being an honor in this book was pre performing in front of President Obama. Oh yes, yeah. What was that experience like? Uh, it was it was really surreal because you know none of us and in my lifetime I never thought that I would see a African American president. Yeah. I knew that, you know, I thought that it would happen, but I didn't see it happening in my lifetime. So, you know, I'm a small town boy from Denver, Colorado. Here I am playing for the first black president of the United States, you know, of, and for three times, you know. And then we also played for the Clinton administration. We played for the King of Morocco. And uh, so the music has really made room for us before great men. And uh, it's you know, I, I could have never dreamt this, you know, coming for, coming up from Denver. 
Was that one of the biggest milestones in your career, would you say? Most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. You know, that goes that ranks right up right up at the top. And you know, whenever the president, you know, throws up his hand and says, That's my jam, you know you got a black president. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, I know you gotta go, uh, Philip Bailey. Uh how was Maurice today? You know, he has his up days and his down days. You know, Parkinson's you know, is is a uh, ch- very challenging uh, disease, but uh, he's still strong in spirit, still an inspiration, and uh, he's still he's still the man. He's still the man. Philip Bailey, man, thank you for coming by, man. I, thank I, you. I was thank looking you. forward to this one, bro. Well, just, I'm honored. Thank it's you just so much. This is one of those moments right now, man. And then. Um, Shining Stars, the name of the book, Braving the Elements of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Please support it. When you're back in New York, I promise you come back up and hang with us. Man. I sure will. I sure will. Thank you. You guys got a lot of energy in here. It's a beautiful thing. Thank, Thank you, man. You. I'm coming from you, man. I'm good now. You know, and right. I want to end with a song that um, my mother used to play for me. <clears throat> and I played for my daughter when she was a child, and it would help her sleep. Uh, and I always wanted her to go to sleep dreaming, like, beautiful things, like she was sleeping in a fairy tale. So I I write a song. This is the song. Earth I wrote this song. for my second daughter, Peely. Did you really? Yep. yep. In in in, um, in Florida, I could see it in Miami. Wow. I remember. Damn. And I use it for my first daughter. <laughs> there it is. Let's listen to it. It's sway in the morning only on Shade Forty Five.